What is up, YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer in the world. I'm back. Um, today, I think we're going to switch gears. I'm not going to do a random cook-up. I'm going to do um, what makes the cook-up, the sauce that's in the cook-up. As you can see, I already have it lined up. My personal top five, top five, top five, top five VSTs that you should own. And I'll go from five to one. One being my favorite at the moment, and uh, five being, I mean, still a favorite, but not as popular um, in my production as the first one. There, there's so many of them to choose from right now. They're, they're free. They're ones you have to pay for. Inexpensive, inexpensive um, trial basis. You can get them by the monthly and or lifetime, and they come with abundance of upgrades over the years. But for me, the rumplers or the samplers, these are the best for me. All right? Before we go any further, this has nothing to do with money. This is just what I like to use. And I, I have no dog in the race because no one's paying me. So this is just what I like to use. All right? Number five, silent. Um, silence, I like silent. They, it's easy to manage um plenty of sounds you can you can create your own sounds and usually someone is creating a bank or you can go in and create it yourself uh you can create a sound yourself um you can start that's a that's a ar arpeggiator and you can just kind of go in and just do whatever you want i'm just pressing random buttons but you can go in and change things around and get a different sound if you like. Um, there's too, there's so much to do with it, and there's already banks. And that was just by randomly kicking, but clicking on buttons that I got a new sound out of that. Uh, easy to use, and I love when you can take a VST get different sounds and there's always new presets on the dark web all right there's always presets for you to get so if i load my bank look at this there's tons of presets to use and go forward with um and they usually have 40 to 50 in each preset i got like 300 presets so i'm not going to go through all the sounds but I mean, whatever the case is, I like silent. And it's easy on right here, this section right here. I have a gaming computer and I have a lot up right now. But it's easy to use. It is, it doesn't, like if, I could, if I use six instances of sounds from silent one, the CPU is not going to be hard, okay? It's not going to be out of control where it's clicking and cracking. So, silent one, number five. Number four, throw up that faux faux, purity, an oldie but a goodie. Um, some people say it's trash. Some people just don't know what they're talking about, okay? Some people just don't know what they're talking about. Purity has those go-to sounds, as you can see, some categories, about 15 categories, and at least, you know, 50 or so presets for each bank. They just have some key core go-to sounds that you can use and that's what i like about purity like i know what i'm getting from it and i usually use the same sounds plus you can layer these sounds great 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 tool anytime you can layer your sounds why not why would you not want to layer your sounds all right i believe that uh purity is discontinued but i would love a purity too if they're going to keep it the same way and just add presets and maybe some tweaks here or there but you can also you can you can tweak you can edit your you can edit in purity and you can get some uh pretty cool sounds so i'm not i'm not mad at purity at all number four on the list number four purity number three everyone's golden child omnisphere oh um Omnisphere is great. Omnisphere 2, I'm sorry. Omnisphere 2 is great. 
it's just it's so it takes up a lot on the CPU when you get going and um, it's prone to it'll it'll make your computer crash man uh, you get getting the rhythm you get in the rhythm and you forget to save you and you keep opening up Omnisphere it's liable to crash I love Omnisphere sounds I love what you can do to it just CPU heavy and um, everyone's using it right now you know what I mean okay so we're taking off the price range but everyone is using this and um, in an industry where it pays to be different at times that can be a, uh, a hindrance um, but plenty of uh, sound banks plenty of sound banks and that's what makes it great that look at these you got sound after sound after sound that you can get from this plus add in keyscapes I can see why it could be number one on someone's list it's just number three but or number two on my list right now okay but um, great great sense and um, it's so unique I think that's why it gets everybody like some of the effects that you can put on there or some of the layers that you can do it's really 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 unique alright and number two Electra X Electra X is strong I mean um, you can I think um, DJ Ave McCree, uh, he went in and did a Pierre kit just using um, Electra X. He was just listening back to uh, Pierre Bourne and beats and things, the sounds that he used. And he created like 30 to 40 sounds to go inside Electra X in, the, in, a, in a preset bank. Tons and tons of presets on the market and more, since it's getting popular, 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 more people are gravitating towards using this VST. I can see why this could be on number one's list because, as you can see, it's plenty, plenty of presets out there already and um, plenty of uh, banks to go along to help you with your needs. Uh, when producers, we're kind of weird like that. We're hoarders. So we love sound, 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 sounds. So I can see why this could be number one. Um, but for me, um, the one thing that it does fall short, at, short on that number one doesn't is being able to throw in a soul sample and sample from there. All right. So with that being said, my number one pound for pound is contact, the contact library. I mean, obviously they're on contact six. I only have contact five right now, but the contact series is, is just going to always going to be pound for pound for me. Uh, number one, it's just so many sounds, so many great uh, libraries to choose from, plus the fact that you can go in and let's say you didn't have a sampler, you can go in and chop up samples in here, okay? It is able to chop up soul samples, rock samples, and you can create a beat inside of contact for that reason. So for that reason, I got number one because you have sounds and you can sample, you got to go with that VST. So to review... We got Silent One, number five, number four, Purity, number three, Omnisphere, number two, Electra X, and number one, Contact. Now, that can change down the road, but as of right now, halfway through the year, 2019, that's my top five VSTs from the worst producer in the world. Let me know what your top five are. Leave them in the comments. What do you like to use? Maybe I'll do a tutorial on them. Maybe I won't. It's the worst producer of all time. Like, subscribe, so I can deliver more content right to you, Hollywood Floss. And you can follow me on Instagram, HW Floss. Top five, top five, top five, top five. Word to die line. These are the best VSTs.